Focal Line Fitness to work out with today. And, okay, this is crazy. Hi guys, Suzanne here, and welcome back to Coco Lime Fitness. Thank you so much for choosing to work out with me today. I really think you're going to enjoy this stretch because not only will it help your posture, but it will help to improve your mood, your energy, and your stress levels. So if that sounds good to you, come join me. You're just gonna need a nice squishy mat in a few minutes. I'll see you in a sec. All right guys, so let's just get right into the stretch. As you guys know, when your posture is not correct, it does affect your energy, your mood, and your memory. So let's try to get that spine back into alignment, lengthen everything out so we can improve in those areas. So let's come on to all fours. Your fingers are pointed forward. I'm just gonna go into a nice big cat stretch here. So you're going to inhale up, and then exhale down. As you inhale up for four, hold your breath for four, and then exhale for four, hold your breath for four. Let's just do that two more times. Up. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Okay, very good. Come back into neutral spine. Now you're just going to support yourself and you're gonna take one arm out in front of you and arch that back up for four. And down for four. Let's switch arms up for four. And down for four. Now let's do legs. Out for four. And down for four. Other side. Out for four. And down for four. Now this next exercise, if you have wrist issues, you might not be able to do this. But what this does is it lengthens everything out in those tendons in your forearm. So if you do a lot of computer work, this is really good. So what you're gonna do is you're just gonna turn your palms out to the side, and you're just gonna lean to the right for four, and then to the left for four. Very good, back into central here. Now what you're gonna do, I don't know if I can do this here, yeah. Turn your palms towards you. And the same thing, you're just gonna lean back for four, and forward for four. Yeah, that feels so good. <sighs> okay, now we're gonna go on to our stomachs. So, if you need to support your pelvic bones, you can put a towel underneath there. So, placing your palms right in line with your chest, and squeezing your butt and your legs together, you're just gonna push up and low cobra for four. And down for four. We're gonna do that one more time. Up for four. And down for four. Now staying here with your chin on the mat, you're gonna do the same thing with your legs together. Up for four. Down for four. Up for four, down for four. Now if you're feeling really spicy, we're gonna do both together for four. Up for four, down for four, again. Now I know you wanna stay here, but we're gonna come up and take your knees out as wide as you can, as wide as the mat, and you're gonna come down into a wide leg child's pose here. And just stay here for a second. Let everything you just did release. Keep with that breathing. <sighs> oh. 
Okay, come on out. Okay, now we're gonna go back into all fours. We're gonna go into a plank position here. Make sure your back is straight as a board and your chest is over your hands. And you're gonna do a one leg stationary mountain climber for four and back for four. Let's just practice the other side for four. Ooh, this is a Tony workout here. Now, next time you do that knee in, they're gonna come into a wide leg runner. One, two, three, four, and back. And back. Now you're gonna go into a pigeon. Knee goes through and hold. Now this one we're not counting for four, we're just gonna hold and twist your torso. Do the exhales and inhales up for four. And exhale for four. Now this time as you inhale, you're going to walk your torso, your arms down. And then exhale for four. That one feels so good. One more breath. And exhale. Fortunately, we have to come out of that. We have to do the other side. Come back up into planks. Ready? Inhale for four. Exhale for four. Now in the next breath, bring your torso and hands down. Make sure that your torso is twisted so that your chest is pointing towards the floor. This gives you a nice, deeper stretch here, not only in your glutes and hamstrings, but your low back. One more breath. Excellent. Come on out of that. Okay, now we're gonna do a seated straight leg stretch. This, you're really gonna feel this in your low back. So. Flexing your toes as much as you can, sitting up nice and tall here, don't hunch over. Shoulders are back. Inhale up. Now, trying to keep your back straight, reach those hands toward your toes, your heels, your elbows, try to touch your knees or the floor. And now you could kind of arch and bend over here. Inhale for four. Exhale for four. If you need to bring your hands up higher, that's totally fine. Inhale for four. And exhale for four. Now for the next move, you're just going to point your fingers towards your butt, point your toes. Ready to come up for four. And exhale for four. We're gonna do that one more time. Loosening up everything in the front of the body. Inhale for four. And exhale for four. If you have wrist issues there, you can grab two weights to support your wrists. Okay, so for the next move, we're on our backs again. So make sure that your low back is tucked up and under on the floor. Your arms are out into airplane mode here to support your body. And you're gonna bring your knees in towards your chest wider than hips width apart, okay? And flex your feet. And you're just going to lift your booty off the floor for four. And down for four. Again. Squeeze your low abs, squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. And down, okay, bringing your knees together. Now you're gonna to try to drop both knees to one side. And we're gonna go back to that breathing. Inhale for four. And exhale. One more breath. Using all your ab muscles and core, try to switch sides here. This should release all the tension you have in your low back. Sometimes you might even feel a little popping or cracking, that's normal. 
Okay, using those abs again. Ooh. Very good. Okay, so for the next stretch, we're just gonna lengthen out the back of the hamstrings. This is really important for our posture because if your hamstrings are tight, it pulls everything down. It causes back pain. It's, everything's connected. So we wanna make sure that we lengthen that area out to so prevent any hunching over when we're sitting or standing. So you're gonna bring that knee into your chest, holding it as close to your chest as you can and flexing your foot. Go back to those breaths, inhale. And exhale. One more time. And exhale. Now, you're gonna try to straighten that leg. So it's inhale for four. Exhale. One more time. Great work, okay, let's switch sides. Bring the knee in, flex that foot, inhale. One more time. That's so good. Okay, straighten that leg. You might notice that one side is tighter than the other, that's okay. Exhale. On the next breath, try to pull a little bit closer. Just challenge yourself a little bit here. You might notice your leg shaking. Okay, great job. Now you're gonna take your knees out. You're gonna point them out to the sides. You're just gonna stretch out those inner thighs, the hip flexor. Again, the hip flexor, if it's tight, it causes a lot of pain in our low back and causes us to hunch. One more breath. Great work, okay, take those legs out. Take those arms up over your head, inhale up. Exhale down. And on the last breath, when you exhale, I want you to just let everything fall into the floor. Inhale up. And now relax every muscle that you have. 